Hey Aquarius, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Today we're going to be getting a timeless message out for you from Oracle and Tarot. We're going to be asking what does Aquarius need to know at the time of viewing this? Whenever you see it, that's when you're meant to. That being said, not every reading is for everybody, so you'll know the difference. Take it if it resonates. We're going to start with Oracle. If you'd like for me to pray for you, and send you my good juju, say hi in the comments section. Even leaving an emoji, that works. Just allows me something to focus on that represents your energy. And I encourage everybody else to do it too. It's all about putting the good back out there, right? There's so much, so much crap out there. We got to just love everybody up. The best way to rebel. That's what I like to say. All right. One more Oracle card for my Aquarius. And if you haven't yet, please hit that like button. I really appreciate you for doing so. It helps the channel grow. It helps other Aquarius see this message. And consider subscribing. All right, you guys. Clearing debts. And these aren't just physical ones. These aren't just monetary ones. This can be energetic ones as well. Your self-care involves removing heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. You can say no. <laughs> say, I'm going to hang out of my house. Thank you very much. I don't feel like going out. Um, this is the Divine Feather Messenger deck. This is the message of the Blue Jay saying the time is right to access and master your abilities. Do so with humility and control. This will be a very interesting uh, tarot reading, you guys. All right, so what do my Aquarians need to know at this time? Viewing this video, please make it clear. I only take the cards that fly out. I do not choose them. I'm just the interpreter. If they fly out in reverse, that's how we read them. What do my Aquarius need to know? Right on. So, okay, awesome. Really cool energy. We're gonna unpack it a little bit more. We're starting in a very interesting place. We're starting in a place very different from the one we're ending at the reading at. We're starting in a place of lack, of scarcity. If this is a relationship reading for you guys, this is gonna be a sense of being misunderstood, of being pushed out. If this is actually a financial, this is feeling broke basically, not having enough. Now where we end up, is quite different altogether. This is the Page of Cups, and this is magical, playful, miracle energy. Uh, so, and I'll get to the innards of your reading soon, but we need to get a couple more cards out for my Aquarius, anything they need to know at the time of viewing this. Beautiful, wow, wow, wow. Star card, King, uh, Knight of Cups. Somebody's riding up on your shores. Okay, so, we have the lover's card and the lover's card talks about, yes, it can be romantic, but it does talk about a choice. At the center of your reading, we've got the king of swords, which is most likely your energy. The swords often represents air signs. Now, why are we getting our Aquarius in the center of their reading? <laughs> Y'all, this looks like a relationship reading. We got the queen of cups coming up here. Why? Talk to me about what's the thread that binds these two together, okay? Leaving something behind, working hard. What are we working hard at? This intuition, okay. So you guys are trying to make a decision uh, using your intuition um, and really trying to see clearly and it's regarding another individual. Could be a water sign, could be somebody who's just empathic, nurturing and has some of those uh, attributes of a water sign. We do have um, a page of cups flying out and um, okay, you guys, where's this the Knight of Cups? Where's the Knight of Cups? You guys have an interesting reading. Okay, the thrill is gone. Um, so, all right, I feel like y'all aren't so into somebody anymore, something's ending. But yet, I think you're happy about it. Like the star card is answering your prayers. This is recovery. I think somebody, ah, this, this, it might have um, taken the form of a fight, an argument. Uh, but the tower card, this, this event, it, it was outside of your control, I think. And it feels like it was something that was building up. 
and I think it was there are these little signs all, all along uh, most the way at least where you know the lover's card pops in your mind like you want peace and harmony and everything but you might be wondering like am I trying to convince myself of something here um we the five of pentacles what does this actually mean yeah, it's like this knowledge, this clarity comes to you, Aquarius, and then you know what to do. I think you're leaving something behind and you're really, you've, this is not some kind of impulsive decision. I feel like um, it does come in the wake of an event and maybe learning something new, uh, whether about how you feel or the, the situation or circumstance, but your intuition is pretty much on, on par. It's coming out upright. Um, I, I think you've worked hard at trying to understand this, figure it out, um, and you don't want to make this impulsive decision that you regret later. But yeah, something's coming to an end and most likely um, on the heels of an argument or something. So we come back to our Oracle card and it's talking about clearing your your debts and it's really about self self care. And um, I do feel like we this has come out, an event has happened kind of to answer your own prayers. And so what does self-care look like to you in this moment, right? Uh, it can look like forgiving yourself. It can look like um, walking back through situations. And it's funny because I know that some of you guys are saying, I don't have anything I need to forgive. But um, like when you walk back through a situation and you see why certain doubts came out, came up and certain things occurred it all kind of falls into place as something that maybe was the right thing to happen even if it caused a little bit of heartbreak or even was a little scary um i feel like you are doing that that's an act of love towards yourself is to realize that things happen the way they are meant to happen and to definitely let yourself off the hook of any kind of guilt uh anything else i need to tell my aquarius about this the hermit card you might be going through straight into the hermit energy which is like getting in touch with yourself with your inner guide with your intuition you might even feel like you're turning down plans you may be feeling a little more introverted you might just want to dive into a book or write in a journal um it feels like a lot of um even a lot of passive activities ones where like you um where you are not so directly writing in a journal all the time and like directly looking at everything that's occurred, but more like things that just soothe you, um, things that where you can passively uh, process some stuff. Sometimes that's like literally like crafting, or it can even be reading. We're focused on a story in front of us in a book, but in the background, we're allowing ourselves to kind of process information. So, um, and it's really about coming from, I don't think that, I think at first this relationship you really wanted it to work and uh, I think that you were you just weren't getting everything you needed and so uh, this is a time for looking at abundance looking at the things you need um, changing your your feelings around what you need and I, I feel like I need to repeat myself there changing your feelings around what you need you can have all these things abundance is possible in all these ways um, and I feel that a lot of you guys who are kind of stifling it um, in order to survive or because you're just telling maybe you're telling yourself that you couldn't have those things or it was too much to ask for um, so this event has occurred that you had no uh, uh, you had very little control over but it was uh, an answer to your prayers in a sense because it's now putting you front and center um, uh, in front of all your own needs and you're being asked the question do you want to go for this do you and it seems that the whether you asked for it directly or not the universe is basically collaborating with you to make it happen so it's coming out of a place of scarcity the four of the four of pentacles is feeling like you have to keep everything in tucked in you know secreted away and uh, it came out upside down. So this is about just like you are stepping away from the world to get in alignment with truly what you want again and understand it because I think it's been kind of squelched for a little while. Air it all out. And uh, that's the only, that's the first step to making it happen, right? Just to understand what you need. Anything else? I love it. I wouldn't be surprised if all of a sudden 
and your imagination grows and grows, your daydreaming grows and grows, all of a sudden these options keep popping up. You're going to become a magnet for all sorts of things. Of course, all that glitters is not gold, so be discerning, but your mind is opening. So take this as a very good sign as you start to have your dream life might wake up and like, <laughs> no pun intended, your dream life might be much more lively. Your imagination might be more lively. You might be getting more phone calls or things might be popping up um, for you. Uh, and this is ideas, for instance, and this is all about you. This is a natural expansion. So it's kind of like, um, oh my gosh, have you guys ever ordered like a mattress? Uh, one of those like that are compressed in the, <laughs> in the bags or anything like that. You know, it's almost like dehydrated food. It's all compressed and the energy and the, all the, the juice has basically been sucked out of it. And this is like about unzipping that mattress and letting it expand. I know it's a funny metaphor, you guys, or pouring water on the dehydrated food. Like, this is you coming back to life. This is the expansion of your mind, of your life, of all the things that you want and getting in tune with those. So I hope that that was helpful. Um, take good care of yourselves. Please hit the like button. Consider subscribing, becoming a friend. See you soon.